Hey guys, so this is the second portion of the um, Raymond sums and rectangular approximation methods. Just the last little bit that I didn't cover with you guys in class, and it involves unequal widths. And so I'll go ahead and take you to our first example. It's, it's pretty easy. So here is an example that has a table. And this is usually what you'll be given as a table, uh, or you'll be given a graph with points on it already. Um, and in your homework, you have, um, you're given some points and they want you to make a graph out of it. So you basically just plot the points and connect the dots. And we are going to do um, two examples, one for the left ram, one for the right ram, one for the trapezoid, and then we're going to do another example with just the table without making a graph. But first we'll start by um, going ahead and showing you what the graph looks like with all the points and with all the different types of shapes, rectangles and trapezoids. Um, to get a good feel of why this is different than when you have equal intervals, which is what we've been dealing with up to now. Um, so it's a little bit different, but it's not bad. Turn my pin on first. Okay, there we go. So 0, 3, 2, 6, 3, 2, up 6, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then 3, 7, so 3, 6, 7, 7, 6, so 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and back down to 6, and then 9, 10, so 9 and 10 is all the way up there. And when you graph it, you can just connect the dots, because that's basically what the function is doing for all the points that we're given. Now we are going to find this for our left rectangular, our right ram, and the trapezoidal. And so you can see how this affects uh, the process. It's, it's not quite as easy as the other process, but it's still pretty easy. So we're going to start with our L ram, our left side. And what we are going to do, I'm going to go ahead and draw each of the rectangles so you can see what is actually happening. And you have to do this in your homework anyway, so it's, it's a good example. So my left ram, I start at there at, at uh, 0, 3, and I go over to the other interval. So the other interval is where I stop. So it's not like even intervals, it's just where is the next interval? The next interval is at 2. So there's my first rectangle, it's a 3 by 2. Then I start at the 2, 6. I go up to the 2, 6, and I go over the next interval, which is only 1 over, because it goes from 2 to 3. So that is a, a skinny one. Uh, the next one goes all the way up to 3 and over to the next interval, which happens to be 7. So this one is a really bigger one, big rectangle. Then this one starts a little lower and goes over to the last interval that we're going to use. So we're using left, 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 and we did not use 10. Now let's figure out the width for each one. So the width is not uniform. The width is going to be the same between each interval. So we can write it in our table. And so what I'm going to do is do from 0 to 2 is 2. From 2 to 3 is 1. And you can see the rectangle widths as we do it. And 3 to 7 is 4. And 7 to 9 is 2. So those are all the different widths that we're going to use. And all we have to do is figure out the area of each rectangle. So the first one, you can see that I'm going to do 3 times 2. So the area is going to be 3 times 2 plus 6 times 1 there, plus 7 times 4 plus 6 times 2. And we don't use the last one because we didn't even go up to the last one. And you can count them out and see that this would be a 6 by 2 rectangle, that last one. And then when you add all those together, you are going to get, I got 52. And we don't have to multiply anything at the end because we already multiplied by our 
with our other uh, measurement. Uh, each length times width has already been taken care of, so we're done. 52, done. Now let's look at the R ram, the right ram. Actually, let me change colors for this. Since we're working on the same graph, and I want to show you, I'm going to draw the rights. So I start at the, the farthest one, the 9, 10, and I go over to the next one, which is at 7, and go down. And then the next one, I start at the 7 and go over to the 3 line, or the 3 interval. So it's still a pretty wide, but it's not as high. This one, I go up to the 3 and over only one space to 2. And then the last one, I start at the 2 and go over to 0. And so those are my right rams. And those look bigger. Probably is going to be bigger. So let's figure it out. We're not going to use the first one. We're going to use right, 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 right. And this time, since we are not using that one, it's going to be 2 times 6. So it's going to be 2 times 6 plus 1 times 7. plus 4 times the next 6 plus 10 times 2 or 2 times 10 however you want to write it and that comes out to be 63 okay so those are unequal things now let's go ahead and do the trapezoid which is a little more to it so for the trapezoid we're still going to start and I'll put that up here. Trapezoid area, we're still going to start with one half because one half gets multiplied by everything no matter what. Every single trapezoid needs to be multiplied by a half. But these are going to be different um, widths. So we're not going to do the multiplying by the width. We're going to have to take care of that for each thing. Let me go ahead and draw them first. So I start here. I think two is right there. There's our first one. Then there's that one. Then there's this one. And then there's that one. So it doesn't matter which way the trapezoid, if they all go the same direction or opposite directions, it's, it's the lengths of the bases that we're looking at. And we're going to use each one. Now let me clean this up a little bit so you can see it a little bit better what we're dealing with now. So we have to use all of those this time. And what's happening for the first one, B1, well first I'm going to write the width is 2 for the first one. B1 is 3 plus B2 is 6. Then we add the next one. Next one has a width of 1, base 1 is 6, plus base 2 is 7. So we can't use our shortcut this time. We can't just use the first one once because the widths are different. So you can't use the shortcut. You actually have to write all this out. But it's actually pretty easy in your calculator because you can um, just do the 3 plus 6 in your head and then multiply by 2. So a lot of these numbers are going to be pretty easy. All right, so the next width is 4. So we're dealing with this guy right here, the 4. And the two bases are 7 and 6. Oops, plus 6. Plus, the last one is 2. And 6 plus 10. And so it kind of does like kind of that. And that'll be your trapezoid one. And when you put that in your calculator, as long as you account for everything, you'll be fine. And I got 57.5. And that is probably right between 52 and 63. I'm pretty sure that's right in between there. So that is the way to do that. I'm going to do another example that doesn't have the graph and just to streamline it a little bit. So I'm still going to find, I can tell that these widths are different. That's four, that's one, that's two, 
that is 3. So the widths are all different. I'm going to do my LRAM. And that means I'm not going to use the last one. It's going to be 2 times 4 plus 4 times 1 plus 8 times 2 plus 11 times 3. And see, the 16 doesn't even have anything to multiply by. So that's how you can tell that you've done it. And if you want to do your L, 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 not, not use that one. And then this comes out to be 61. And then our RAM doesn't use the first one. It does use all of these. And it goes kind of the opposite direction. So we're not going to use the first one. We're going to start with 4 times 4. So that was 4 times 4 and 8 times 1. Or 1 if you want to put the width first, it doesn't matter. 8 times 1 and 2 times 11 and 3 times 16. So that you can see what's happening here. And so that turned out to be 94. And finally the trapezoid. One half every time, don't forget the one half. And now we're going to do 4 times 2 plus 4 plus 1 times 4 plus 8. And then we're going to do 2 times 8 plus 11. And then 3 times 11 plus 16. So it's, it's kind of tedious, but it's, it's not real difficult. It's just a lot of writing down. And then, so that becomes 77.5. And like I said, you're going to have, um, you're not going to have to do all three things. Most of the time, I'm just going to either ask you just for the left or just for the right or just for the trapezoidal. So you need to show me the work for the trapezoidal, even though you know that it's a, an average of the left and the right. You still need to show me um, how to get it without finding the left and the right. And that is all. You should be able to finish your packet now, and it's not due until Tuesday. So if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.